Hello, everybody. Is anybody joining me tonight? Oop, I have one person. Let me get my computer set up here. Hi, Sarah. All right. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Julie. You see those big boxes back there by the window? <laughs> yeah, that's my pre-order. Holy cow. Hi, Christine from Minnesota. Hi, Ginger. I'm just getting logged onto my computer here so I can see your comments. Hi, Christine, Julie. Thank you for sharing. Sarah, are we snowed in? So it's pretty funny because... Um, let me get in the picture here. I'm going to have to stand up. Um, my husband couldn't go out the back door. We couldn't get the door open. And, uh, so he did get out the front door and, oh my gosh, it's blowing like crazy. I wish you could see out this window, but the glare is, um, making it so you can't see. But for those of you not in Wisconsin, we have been in a blizzard since like what, Friday? Like, I haven't left the house since Friday, and um, we've gotten three feet of snow, and it's still coming down, and it's blowing like crazy. This is the biggest snowstorm of the year, and actually, as far as length and the amount of snow we've gotten, I would say that it is the biggest snowstorm I can ever remember. So that's kind of funny. Hi, Mary Lynn from Seattle, or Washington, I should say. Cindy, glad you could join us. Patty, happy to have you. Suzette, you guys want to share where you're coming from? Because I think that's always kind of fun for everybody. Hi, Elaine. Elaine, I'm hoping I see you tomorrow night. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with our stamp club. Um, they're saying this is supposed to be done soon, right? So I'm just hoping that it is too. Hi, Heather, Becky, Sarah Snowden, <laughs> a friend's plowing you out. Sarah, did they cancel school for you? I know they canceled um, Nina's schools, Haley told me. Oh, Sarah said it's the second biggest snowstorm in history we're having right now. Yeah, I know, Debbie, right? Nasty weather here in northwest uh, suburbs of Chicago. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, Lisa, hi from the North Pole. I mean, De Pere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Shelby. Okay, you guys, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to open these boxes because I have been very impatiently waiting to do that. I have to tell you, it's been hard. Um, but I've been so busy trying to get ready for um, my Facebook Live tonight. And then also, I have stamp clubs Monday, Tuesday, Thursday this week and a um, Facebook Live team meeting Wednesday. So I've got my work cut out for me. So I've been super busy and I'm like, I don't need to open those. I can just wait and, and share it with you guys. So I don't know exactly how this is going to work. Let me get my phone plugged in here first. We don't want to have a disaster like we had that one time, right? Um, and I'm going to open my boxes here. I don't know if this is my pre-order or not because I ordered some stuff with my flex points. So that's what this could be. I'm not sure, but it's always exciting opening, opening boxes, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It is pre-order, you guys. Oh, holy cow. Loving it. Okay, I'm going to open the other box, and then I'm going to show you guys this stuff. So excited. This is like the mother load. And this one's really heavy. Holy cow, let's just throw that over there. Um, my husband's grandkids love to stomp on this stuff and make it pop, so I always save it for them. <laughs> it's great fun. Holy cow! Oh my gosh. Yeah, and here's a box. I think this is jewelry. So I told you guys last time I was live that I got um, a promotion, right? Yep, this is it. Hang on a second, let me show it to you. Ooh, how very pretty. Oops, if I can keep it open. This is the Stampin' Up! Platinum Necklace. I get this from Stampin' Up! for my promotion. Yay! 
So excited about that. Oh, and I wanted to mention, you guys, if I miss a question that you're asking me, um, please ask it again because, you know, as I'm stamping, it's hard to watch all the comments coming in. So just be persistent. I'm not ignoring you. I promise. All right. I am going to move this stuff over by my desk. And this one is huge. I don't even know. This is going to be kind of a cluster here. Hang tight. <laughs> and this one is very heavy. Oh. I can't wait to show you guys all this new stuff. Fun, fun. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to flip my phone around and get started. So if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes and I'll tell you when to open them again, okay? Hang tight. And here we go. Oh, I got to show you my light box. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? Remember that from last week I showed you um, that is the light box that we received from Stampin' Up! at our onstage event in Milwaukee. And you can spell anything out on it. These letters all move and just kind of slide in here. Super, super cute. I'm excited for what I can use it for. Okay, still moving you, so hang tight. Okay, that's pretty good, right? Let me get my thing set up straight here. I think we're good. I'm going to plug back in now. Oh, I didn't disconnect anybody. That's exciting. Okay. Let's... Hi, Dee Dee. So happy to have you here. Okay. I'm going to move my little light box that is so stinking adorable. And here we go. Now, remember, this is all brand new stuff, so I don't really know the names of all of this stuff yet, but I'm going to try here. The Love What You Do and the Make a Difference. This is all part of a promotion coming out in May that I can't hardly wait to show you guys. How come? Am I still live here? Yep, but my screen hasn't moved. Hang on, I'm having some technical difficulties on my computer. asking me if I want to boost this. Stop with the boosting. Are you kidding me? Hang tight, you guys. It's always fun being live. This is the stuff that I would normally cut out of my videos. <laughs> These kind of things happen all the time when you're doing videos. Here we go. Now I'm good. I think I should be okay now. Okay. Um, Part of a promotion, and I don't know what all is involved in the promotion because I can't show you the flyer, and um, I don't know yet. I don't have this memorized, so I'm just going to show you all this fabulous stuff. I've got Knight of Navy. Now, our Baker's Twine is a little bit thicker, which is kind of nice, oh, and I got tons of it. Then we have this adorable, I showed you guys this polka dot ribbon, right? That was really fun. Hang on, because somebody's asking me if I'm going live. I'm live right now. Okay, people don't realize that they have to refresh their screen to see my video once they're on my page. Okay, polka dot ribbon. Love, love, love this. And I showed you guys the rich razzleberry, like um, velvet ribbon. What? Yep, that's what they call it, velvet ribbon. It's quarter inch, that's really pretty. I've also got a stamp up, statement of the heart stamp set to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. In this, we make a difference. And I love our statement of the heart. What else do I have here? Oh, I have some cardstock, the new packs with the new colors in them, the neutrals, regals, and subtles. And I, if you guys caught my um, color... What did I call it? Color revamp video that I did. If you didn't catch that, it's on the same page you're watching me on right now. You can go watch that. Just click on the left on videos and you'll find it. Do you guys want to see these? How about if I open something and show you? Okay. Oh my gosh, these are so, so pretty. We got to use these 
at on stage for one of the projects that we made and aren't they just gorgeous copper and silver leaves these are really pretty put these on with mini glue dots they're easy a nice little flat easy embellishment to use okay what do I do with the statement of the heart? Um, I will be using this probably to um, send cards to my downline, my team members. Um, I can also use it to stamp on the back of my cards because no matter whether you're a demonstrator or a customer, Julie, this is a wonderful statement about creativity. We make our own things and we love doing it. We love sharing it. And um, we do make a difference with our cards, right? Customers do, discount shoppers do, business demonstrators do. We make a difference by brightening somebody's day. So that's what I'm planning on using it for. Okay, now the big, I, I bet I'm never going to get this back in this box. Stampin' Up! does such a good job of packing this stuff. Oh, I see I ordered something in wood. That's great. I usually don't order wood, so I'm sure I didn't mean to do that. Um, and if you do ever order anything and it wasn't what you intended it to be, you just pop it in a um, bubble envelope, a padded envelope, and um, there's a merchandise exchange form. You can send it back to Stampin' Up! and they will replace it with what you really did want. So let's see. Why is my screen keep freezing up, you guys? I, all the comments are still coming up on the side, but my video screen keeps freezing up, which is very odd. I wonder if our internet is being overwhelmed right now. Okay, enjoy life. This stamp set was designed by my friend Connie Fitzgerald, and it is a tribute to her children and how they enjoyed life, and it is just so beautiful. I can't hardly wait to watch this, and I or to watch this to use this, and I know you guys are gonna love it too. It is a fabulous stamp set. And it's bigger than what it shows here on the front cover. See how big this bicycle guy is and the and the other, I think that's her daughter. Very, very cool, so I was really happy with that. Here is the stamp set called Detailed with Love. Do you like the new um, labels? They're, they're, they're crisper and clearer and you know easier to read. So that's nice. Detailed with love. This is part of a bundle. I'm going to set that aside. Varied vases. Let's see. That comes with a punch. And, oh my gosh, this box is so full. Let's see if I can find the punch for you. Yep, here it is. Look at that. Little pieces of a vase. So this stamp set is a bundle. Varied vases with a vase builder punch. How fun is that? two of those. That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> and then flying home. I have no idea why I have this. So um, this is a stamp set that I already own and I will be exchanging it. Okay. Let's see. Rooted in nature. You remember I showed you some a card that I made with that one. Let me grab it. Here's the card that was we made it on stage with the Rooted in Nature. And it's so big, it's in two separate cases. And isn't it just, these evergreen trees are beautiful. These leaves are gorgeous. There's matching framelits someplace. So um, I'll show those to you when they come out. I'll set that aside too. But yeah, that card, just gorgeous. And then Lily Pad Lake. I've already seen some fabulous samples from the display boards at our event in Milwaukee with this. It does come with a set of, well, I shouldn't say it comes with. You can order it with a set of framelits. So again, another really pretty set. This is the Share What You Love embellishment kit. Let's open that up. Look at this cute box. It comes in this box, and this box is big enough to put a set of cards in, which is fabulous. And it has our statement of the heart on the front, which is great. And look at this. You've got these laser cut tags, all these little metal embellishments in here. These are so fun. And the um, little flowers are self-adhesive. And then these beautiful laser cut 
labels to stamp on. Aren't those pretty? Yeah, laser cut. I love it, love it, love it. So this is really, really pretty in this beautiful little box. Mm, love that. Oh my gosh, I have so many things swirling through my head. Okay, I have some ink pods here. Here's our blueberry bushel. Pineapple punch. Uh, call me clover. And my comments just went away on my screen. Yeah, Susan, I know. You ordered something, too, that you already had. Ooh, this is an embossing folder, and I have to show it to you. Get that right out of this package. This is called um, Lovely Floral, and it is one of the super thick embossing folders. Oh, my gosh, isn't that pretty? That is going to be just beautiful. And it's big, so, you know, uh, you can do this on your card. You can put a little banner on it, and you've, you've made a card, which makes card creating really simple. Oh, look, I got another one of these. I <laughs> wonder what I was ordering. I need to pay better attention to what I'm doing. Um, I have a lot of duplicates in here, so if I'm not showing you something, it's because I've already showed it to you. Under the sea framelits, I'll wait and get the stamp set for that. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at these. I didn't see these in real life yet. These are the Artisan Pearls. They're all self-adhesive and they come in one, two, three, four, five different colors. Aren't those pretty? Love them. I have a lot of fun with that. What's this? Lakeside Framelits. Okay, let me show you these. These are really pretty. I hope you have time to stamp tonight. Because, you know, going through a big box of loot is really fun. Oh, look at that. These go with the lily pad lake. Oh my gosh, can't wait to create with this. A couple labels that, this is like a, um, a blue heron, I guess, or a sandhill crane. My mom hates sandhill cranes. Oops, did I just say that? Speaking of my mom, it is her birthday today. Happy, ha happy birthday, mom. Yeah, and she snowed in also. I was planning on spending... Um, the weekend with her, but with the bad weather, mm, I just, yeah, couldn't do it. Okay, so that's really pretty. Here we go. Here is the sea of textures, and I love that little octopus, but I also like the netting. Let's get this open. Nature, oh, that's not the right ones. This is the right ones. Look at all this stuff, you guys. I can hardly wait to show you. Is anybody asking me any questions? Oh, it's an egret. Yeah, that word looks familiar to me, but I didn't know what that was. Some kind of bird, right? And um, look at that. Look at that. The sand dollar is my favorite by far. Two sand dollars in there. We've got some, like, um, what do they call that stuff? A coral reefy type thing. The octopus. Here's some more underwater leafy things <laughs> that go with the sea of textures. Yeah, this is going to be, mm, this is going to be so fun. I, this, this new catalog was extremely dangerous, to say the least. Let's see, what do I have here? Oh, there's another. I don't know why I got two of those. Um, Whisper White Small Memories and More Envelopes and Cards. So we've got some, um, oh, these are little cards. They're this big. They're scored in the middle. That's fun. Another one of these. Oh my lord, I put the wrong number in for something. I wonder what I'm missing. There's the third one. No wonder my order costs so much money. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I was in a hurry. Okay, look at these. This is called the Tranquil Textures Sprinkles. And these are little tiny beads in various colors. I love these. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Probably good for shaker cards. You can also glue them on the front. They go along with this Sea of Textures bundle, I believe. And I could be wrong about any of this stuff because it takes me a little while to absorb everything. What is this? This is real red eighth inch. It looks like eighth inch ribbon. Oh, do you remember this punch? Yeah. 
it's you it punches on all three sides when you use it you push in the middle and it punches whatever you're gonna stick your card stuck in here um, this is a different punch than the one we had in a mini catalog a year or so ago so it does some different things it has a corner rounder on one end and as a matter of fact hang tight you guys because um, I have a card where I used it where is that right here here we go. See, I use the corner rounder on these two sides and then this little floral image on these two sides. And I think this one is to a little hole to put ribbon through. Yeah, remember that? That was pretty too. All right, let's keep moving here. Oh, these are really pretty. What are they called? Delightfully detailed note cards and envelopes. That's what is underneath this um, laser cut layer on the front of this card. So let me show you these. Let's cross our fingers that I don't cut myself or stab myself or something. You know how you get really excited to be looking at new things. We've got vanilla envelopes here. And then here's our note cards. And that's what's under here. So that's really cool. These are designed to be used with the detailed um, laser cut. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Designer series paper, which I will show you in just a minute. Let me get this stuff all kind of put back together a little bit anyways. And, oh, I got a lot of those. <laughs> We're allowed to order three. Um, sets of consumable items. Here comes the doilies. These are pearlized on one side and white on the other side. And let me grab the sample that I used at on stage. You can, I, I don't know if you guys can really see. Oh, look at that glare. What is that glaring? I'm sorry. Is anybody asking me questions? Nope. I don't see anything. Kelly Walker. Is this a direct sales company? Um, yeah, it is, definitely. Okay, very, very pretty. These are gorgeous, gorgeous doilies. All right, next. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Baker's Twine. It comes in a pack with all four of these colors in here. Love, love, love. Don't worry, Kay, you couldn't get on until right now. You can go back when we're done and watch the beginning and see the stuff that you missed. So that should be, you should be okay. Sorry you couldn't get on though, that's frustrating. Oh, here's some more ink pads. Grapefruit Grove. And, oh, an old olive. What else do I have here? I've got more ink pads. Lovely lipstick. And what is this? Um, oh, I already showed you Pineapple Punch. I usually get two sets of the in colors because those are always really popular. And um, I usually need two sets of them. Then we've got these faceted dots. These are really cool. We've got black, and this is like a um, Blackberry Bliss. Oh, these are the in colors. No, they're not. Um, groovy, what is that called? Grapefruit Grove, I almost said Groovy Guava, I remember that color. Black, yeah, these are fun too. All right, I think we're getting close to the end. Let's see, I ordered a bunch of card stock because I was running low, so that's in here. I'm gonna get this out, emptied out here. Oh, here's the assorted packs of the new colors. This is the, um, oh, this is the cardstock pack that goes with the Tranquil Textures. What else do I have here? Um, the Share What You Love cardstock. That's part of that bundle I talked about in May. Whisper White Large Memories and More Envelopes. Oh, you guys, you know the Memories and More? Oh, I've still got stuff glaring here. My video is really delayed compared to where I am, so that's gonna kind of throw me off a little bit. Um, the memories and more, we have cards and envelopes that are the same size as the cards that come in the memories and more, and that's our scrapbooking um, line of items where you can buy those cards and more kits. That's what these are for, so that's gonna be really neat. 
scored down the middle. You just put the card on the front. You can add some ribbon or whatever, and you've got a great card. Super quick and easy. I love that. So that's what these are. Trying not to miss anything. Oh my gosh, I have like the hugest stack of paper here. Okay, let me set this aside and start getting out the designer paper because I have a boatload of it. Holy cow. <laughs> this is so fun. This is the Share What You Love Specialty Designer Series paper. This is um, our promotion that's coming out in May. And you notice how thick this is. This is a regular pack of paper. This is the um, paper for the promotion, Share What You Love paper. So it's much, much bigger. You get a total of 24 sheets in here. And let me show you how delicious it is. Here we go. I'm gonna pull this down good so you can see it. Oops, you get one, two, three, four of each design. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous too. And then we've got these stripes. It's trying to get away from me here. And then the green, and this is the Grapefruit Grove maybe on the back? I don't know yet. <laughs> I'll familiarize myself with all this. Ooh, that's pretty green leaves. <gasps> Look at that, and this is kind of like embossed too. That's really, really pretty. And then last but not least is we've got these pretty words with that peachy background and this delicious, oh, that's not it. We've got one more here, this delicious floral paper. And then look at this, a very neutral with this pretty paper. And this is also embossed. Maybe all of these are embossed. I don't know. Nope, I don't think so, but some of them are. Isn't that fun? I love this. I love this polka dots too. That's really cool. All right, so let me move this out of my way. Put this back in my box. All right, then this is the Tranquil Textures. That goes with this bundle someplace. That's not it, oh, that's that one I ordered that I didn't want, this bundle right here. Okay, here's the Tranquil Textures. Bonnie needs a class on using the designer papers. There must have been some other question there that I missed. Wendy, the, um, yeah, the flowered papers are beautiful. Oops, hang on. I'm getting caught up in cords here. All right, here we go. This is, again, Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper. There's a little bit of pink in here, too. Do you guys see that? Move this out of the way. Ooh, I like that. I like this. Some more texture. That's really pretty. And a neutral, that's good. Beautiful Tranquil Tide. Ooh, I love this too. Gosh, you guys, I can't hardly wait. I might have to shut off my video early so I can play with these. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't worry. I'm not going any place. So there we go, that's gorgeous. I've got a ton of that. This goes with the Nature's Poem Designer Series paper, and this goes with, where is that stamp set? It's not the Enjoy Life one. Here it is, Rooted in Nature, right here. So let's get this open. Okay. Don't forget to comment and announce yourself, you guys, because you want to be entered in the drawing to win free products. And I need to know that you were on. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is really pretty, but look at that. That is such a rich color. Here's some more leaves. Beautiful. Mmm, stripes. That's pretty. And we have some fern leaves. Some light green. I love this. This must. This is soft suede leaves. I always like that color with leaves. This is really pretty too. Holy cow! 
I, wait, I gotta get a Kleenex to wipe up my drool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I could be drooling. Ooh, look at this wood paper. That's really cool. And some nice stripes. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love that. And then this is our delightfully detailed laser cut specialty paper, you guys. I can't hardly wait to show this to you. Let me find, where'd that card go? This is the card I used it on when we were on stage. So wait till you see this. It's just so pretty. Oh, look at this paper. Is that not amazing? Amazing. This is great for card making. It's also absolutely gorgeous for scrapbooking. Oops, and it's got tissue paper in between it because it is pretty delicate. Tissue paper in between each different design. I think this is the, still the same design, yep. Okay, here's, look at this. You can cut this into a bunch of different cards. You've got some strips here that are laser cut borders and also a laser cut border right here. And it's, you know, this is 12 inches, so you could use this across the scrapbook page if you wanted. These are just so, so pretty. And there you have it. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this stuff. Okay, let me see if I can get it back in here. There we go. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, let's put this on top. How about that? There we go. Okay, and it comes in a self-adhesive bag, envelope, pouch, whatever you want to call it here. So can keep it looking good. There we go. That wasn't too tricky, was it? Okay, so this is all that delightfully detailed laser cut paper. Then, do I have more card stuff in here? Nope. Did I show you all of that? Yep. Oh, here was some more. Let's see. What was this? Oh, this is the new in colors. I'll open one of these up so you can see what it looks like. I tried to get um, one of the grandkids to make me new labels. I ordered new hanging files for my paper storage because my other ones are getting kind of ratty. And um, I had one of the one of the kids sit down and start doing my label machine and making the labels to put on the little tabs. Yeah, she lasted through five. Thanks, Molly. <laughs> Child labor didn't work out so good for me. Look at this. These are the new in colors. I really like this peachy color. That is pretty. And this new green. And how about that lovely lipstick? That's gorgeous. And then this blue, mmm, delicious. Okay, can I get this back in here? Yeah, we won't worry about that. What else do I have here? Oh, crumb cake, because I was out. <laughs> this is just another pack of the in colors and some other multiple packs. We have, you guys know that with each one of our bundles, you can get a set of paper. This has, let's see, 24 sheets. There's three different colors in here. So three divided by, 24 divided by three is six sheets. Six times three, no, that's 18. Eight sheets, I don't know, whatever the math is for that. Somebody else do the math, I can't think. Um, of colors that match in the designer series paper to make the cards. So like Nature's Poem, this is the stamp set. And then we have the beautiful designer series paper here, right? It's got all these different colors in it. And then you have this Nature's Poem card stack pack. And this is if you don't want to buy each one of these colors in their own full pack of, how many come in a pack? 20? I, 24, I don't know, but um, I know I should know that. I do, but I can't think of it right now. If you want to buy this, you get all three colors that will be coordinating with the designer series paper that also matches the um, stamp set. Did I show you that? Uh, I did show you the framelits for that. Maybe that's what I left off. 
I don't know. Anyways, I'll find it. I've got a lot of stuff to go through here, and I have to figure out why on earth I ordered three of that one stamp set in wood because that was wrong. I made a mistake there. There you go, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't hardly wait to play with all of this stuff. It is going to be so much fun. Does anybody have any questions for me? Oh, eight sheets of each, Lisa. Thank you. Eight sheets of each in the multi-pack. I appreciate that. Math is hard. <laughs> I used to have a, one of my demonstrator friends used to always say that. Math is hard. And I'm like, yep, it is. So I go with it. All right, let me get all this stuff put away here. And we can get on to some other things. I have to make room first. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I have that set. That is so weird, right? And now the bad part is, is I don't know if I wrote down. <clears throat> I don't think I wrote down what I ordered. So I don't even know what I'm missing until I actually find it missing. Did I show you these? This is the Nature's Roots. I did not show you these. Look at those. Mm -hmm. Lovely. The trees, leaves. This is, oh, these are pretty. I bet you these just emboss, you guys. I don't think these cut. These are just for embossing, so that's really cool. You run it through your big shot, and it'll leave that impression. Very neat. Ugh. There we go. I can do this. Okay. Let me move this stuff over. Oh, my gosh. It's heavy. some space here right let's see um yeah Linda I'm with you the uh definitely rooted in nature is my favorite Linda says and it is going to be one of my favorite too uh did I order three so I could give a prize not of that stamp set I did not <laughs> And most of you guys use um, clear mount stamp sets, so I don't know if you'd be too happy with me sending you a wood mount, would you? Who uses wood? Who still prefers wood when they order their stamp sets? Oops, something just fell. What was it? I don't know. I heard something. Okay, you guys. Um, I have a couple things to share with you. I received a couple cards this week. It always warms my heart. This one is from my um, friend, Cindy. She's also a demonstrator on my team. It says, we make a great pair. And this uses the Tutti Frutti paper, the fruit basket stamp set. Very, very cute. I like what she did here with the paper, too. And this, is, this was part of our celebration um, Tutti Frutti card pack and envelope. So great use of that, Cindy. Thank you very much. And then I received this beautiful card, and this is from Judy. And Judy is from Mount Joliet, Tennessee, I believe. Let me see. Did I have? Yes, Tennessee. Isn't this pretty? And she's using the Sunshine Wishes um, Thinlet set. And it's funny because I have been using that a lot lately, too. So great minds think alike. <laughs> And very pretty. I like what she did to the inside here. She left it blank, but she has one of our square um, stitch shape framelits. And then one of the square scalloped framelits she used to put this little piece on here. And it's just, it says, Kelly, just a quick thank you. Oh, you are amazing. Blessings, Judy. Thank you so much, Judy. That This card is just, when I opened it, it was like gasping time. It's absolutely beautiful. Using the beautiful U stamp set. And what is this, um, what is that cardstock called? I just used it today, too. Here, I have a whole, I think maybe we're using it tonight. Um, Painted with Love Designer Series Paper. So that's where that's coming from. And while that was with our Valentine suite of products, oh my gosh, I've used it for so much more than Valentine cards. So there we go. Thank you guys very much. Okay. Um... Shelby still uses some of the wood sets, but she prefers, I think you said you preferred the um, 
um, clear mount. And it's really funny because on my computer screen right now, I am still showing you product from that box on the on the the picture, the um, filming of it. But in the comments, I am like in real time on the comments. So that's going to mess me up. I probably don't need to look at that too much. Okay, prize time. Yay. All right. So um, let's see. The winners from my last Facebook Live are Cheryl Sims from Makeham. I think that's how you say it, Makeham, Michigan. So Cheryl, I don't know if you're on here tonight, but you are going to get a Sweet Saray decorative mask set in the mail this week. And Cheryl won for sharing my video. So you guys don't forget to share this video because that gets you an extra entry into my drawings. And then we have Wendy Bex of Greenville, Wisconsin. You are going to get a set of the Petal Pear Textured Impression Embossing Folders. So you get two embossing folders in there. And Wendy, you are winning for your comments that you left. So thank you very much. And let's see. Then I've got Marge Hazley. Marge is from Kakana, and you are going to win a In the Trees stamp set for your online order um, since the last Facebook Live. And we're going to be using this tonight, so I can't wait to show you what I've done with it. I will get these all out in the mail, provided we can get out of our house tomorrow. I do need to go to the post office because I've got some other things to mail. So I will get those out as soon as I can. All right. Let's see, um, what else do I have some announcements? Uh, first of all, I wanted to tell you guys, my stepdaughter, Anna, I took her down to Freighter last, um, I think it was Monday, yep, and um, she had her catheter removed, and she said immediately she felt like a different person. The doctor says he thinks what was going on is that her body was rejecting this foreign object, and so it was fighting against it, and that's why she was in such horrible pain and having these spasms that were making her cry and all kinds of other stuff. The minute they took that out, she was like, oh, and I'm happy to report. She thought, okay, is this a joke? Am I going to be terrible again tomorrow? She is all better. So thank you guys so much for your prayers. I really think this is it now. She is healing. We haven't had any setbacks since Monday. She actually went out for a retirement party for her mother-in-law on Sunday evening, and she looked gorgeous. She was glowing. She is happy to be alive and well. So thank you guys so much. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm so thrilled for her. So hopefully um, we have another appointment in Milwaukee in four weeks, but we'll go down there and maybe we'll go shopping at the Mayfair Mall. That would be fun. All right. Uh, what else can I tell you? Autism Blog Hop. I am doing a fundraiser for autism with a bunch of other demonstrators. I'm, I'm heading up a team for a blog hop that goes live tomorrow morning. Um, please check out my blog. It's at www.astampabove.com. If you go there, you can subscribe. There's a subscribe space in the right-hand column. Please subscribe to that Please check out the blog hop tomorrow. There's some just wonderful projects that we're sharing, raising money for autism, which affects so many families. It's crazy, but it's a really, really good cause. So um, please check that out. Also, um, right before I went live here, I posted the retirement list for the annual catalog and the occasions mini catalog on this Facebook page. So you should be able to find it if you need to see what's retiring. And then... On a little side note, I am having a Facebook virtual Pampered Chef party. My um, consultant is hosting it for me on a special Facebook page. If you are in the market or would like to see the catalog for Pampered Chef, just let me know. I'll add you to the group. Leave a comment if you just want to look at it or you need to order something. Um, let me know because I'd be happy to have you um, in that group too. And I'm, I'm ordering stuff for my husband. So, <laughs> because he's doing the majority of the cooking now, I'm going to let him pick out some, some tools and gadgets that he might like. So Stamper Steve is also my cook. Yeah. Um, okay. 
What else? Don't forget, leave a comment. Um, comment, comment, comment. The more times you comment, the more times you get entered in the drawings to win prizes. Share the video. Just click on the share and share it to your page. You'll get another entry for that. And any online orders placed in my store, you can go right to my website. You'll find an online, online order button. My host code is... Do we see that the right way? I can't remember, but actually, uh, yep, it shows up the right way. 7GZ, PDR2P is the host code. Please use that host code if your order's under $150. Um, if it's over $150, don't use the host code. You will get entered into the drawing anyways. But if it's under $150, this helps contribute to the gifts that I can give you guys, the prizes and whatever, when you use this host code when your order's under $150. So, should we get stamping now? I was gonna show you swap cards, but I just don't think we have time for that. Maybe I'll do it at the end if I have some extra time. Okay, I have got some very fun projects for you tonight. As I said earlier, we are going to be using the In the Trees stamp set. Let's see, Diana is saying Stamper Steve needs to stamp for us. He can make a manly card. I am going to have him do that. But we have to practice a little bit, and we have to also establish some boundaries. <laughs> you know how men can be, okay? So um, I need to work on that a little bit because I don't want him getting me fired or banned from Facebook or <laughs> any of the other number of things that can happen if I were to let him loose on a live feed. <laughs> so I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, Patsy, just let me know if you want me to add you to that group, I would be happy to do that. It's, um, I think it. I think the party is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, I'm just trying to see where my um, comments are here. Let's see. Oh, and Kay, Thank you. Kay said congrats on the new Harley. So this happened last week. Uh, my husband and I went south of here down by Milwaukee and we went to a dealership and looked at some Harley motorcycles. And I'm super excited for him because he has wanted a Harley forever. And uh, there were some circumstances when he was young that he, I think, had a down payment on a Harley made and then... Um, some type of a big life circumstance happened and he couldn't buy that Harley. So we went down, down by Milwaukee last week and he picked out a white fat boy and I'm super excited about it. I don't know if we're ever going to go pick it up because we have three feet of snow, right? But um, I'm super excited for that whole thing and looking forward to um, being what I was calling biker trash and my lovingly, mind you, my friends didn't like that so much. So I'm going to be a Harley diva. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> okay, Patsy, I will add you to that. Thanks, Dee Dee. I know I'm really excited. So we've got in the trees here. And then let's see, which card am I going to make first? I think I will make the flirty flamingo one. You guys don't forget that um, flirty flamingo Hang on, I just dropped a die. Flirty Flamingo is one of our retiring in colors. So, oh, I love this color. It's just, it just reminds me of ice cream. I don't know why. Um, I will have all the dimensions for these cards on my blog. I usually post them on Tuesday. So just know that. And here comes my stamp set. Now, every time I bring out this case, I have people ask me where this is coming from. And then I answer them, and then somebody else pops in and says, no, 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 they're still available. They just didn't put them in the catalog. I'm going to tell you, these are not available anymore. These are the old wood cases. I cut the lid off of them, and I use them with a piece of cardstock in the bottom. This is what I use at my card buffets to store the stamps in that everybody's using for each project. So these are old. They don't have them anymore. You can't get them anymore. I'm sorry. I love them. I wish I could. No, they are not just missed in the catalog. They are not the cases we have right now that you can buy that are empty. They're not. This is a whole different ball game. And um, I just want to clarify that because I always get questions about it. And Thank you for the questions. I, I did sound like I was yelling at you. I didn't mean to sound that way. Maybe I better take a drink. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Um, in colors. Oh, oh, Denise has started. If I say in colors, then we're drinking. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have iced tea because I was drinking Pepsi and sometimes my stomach gets a little funny because I'm getting old, I guess. I don't know. I used to be able to drink tons of it, but sometimes it gets a little kind of, uh. so then I start drinking something else. So I made myself some iced tea. All right. This is our card base. Let me see if I can remember what I'm doing. I actually made this card for last week, but didn't have enough time to use it. So, or I changed my mind, I think, on all this good stuff. Um, I've also got a white craft pad and our black archival pad. Told you guys on my color refresh video that Stampin' Up! is bringing back Stays On, which I'm super excited about because um, Stays On is one of my favorite products. And we're not going to have the archival anymore because Stays On will replace it. All right, um, back to our little stamp set here. I hope that's not glaring. Let me look and see if that's... Oh, this is glaring. We don't want that. I don't want you guys getting glared out, right? All right. I'm going to use these little flowers, and this is the inside of my card, and I am just stamping the stems and then the little flowers. And then I'm going to color them in a little bit. What did I color them with? Hmm. Do I have an aqua? Oh, yeah, I've got an aqua painter here. So... Let's see. Okay, Denise, I have to get up from my desk and get something. Remember last time everybody was drinking <laughs> when we did that. Let's see, do I have, yep, I've got 30 Flamingo right here in my in colors. So I decided to show you how I use markers. I've told you guys before that I do not like um, coloring in larger images with markers. I would prefer to use these Stampin' Blend alcohol markers for that because I don't like the scribble marks when you're coloring something big in or bigger. But how, the way that I do like to use markers is to color on a non-porous surface. This is just a tile. It's a tile from the Home Improvement Store. Um, you could also color right on this case. That is non-porous and it will wipe right off with a, with a wiper or cloth or whatever. But this is one way that I do like to use my markers. I'm going to grab my aqua painter here. And let me make sure I got some water coming out. I like to do that on my hand a lot. It kind of gives me a feel for how much water is coming out. Because you don't want too much water unless you're using watercolor paper. But I'm just going to color in these little flowers. And you can take that right off this piece of tile. Back and forth with the aqua painter. Now I'm going to do just a little bit of olive. And color in my teeny weeny little leaves here. And this is barely noticeable, but it is just a cute little thing to do on the inside of my card. Clean that off. Okay, so we've got the inside done. Let me see, how did I make this? I think I did this. Yes, I did. Okay, I am going to take a piece of basic gray, and I've got the tree here, and I'm gonna stamp my tree. Well, this would be a good reason to use the um, Stamparatus, which I may use on a card in a little bit here. I'm going to just ink that up. Stamp that right on my card. This piece is white, and it is the same exact size as the gray one, maybe just a smidge smaller because we're going to put it underneath, and I don't want um, I don't want the white edges to stick out in front of the on the edges of the basic gray. Does that make sense? I'll show you in a second. That sounds kind of just funny. All right, so this piece is going to go over top of this piece. Oh, I guess it is exactly the same size, so that's fine. Here's what we're going to do now. Oh, let's just keep stamping, then I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to take this. This is a set of lights that is just really adorable. And I'm going to hang this from our tree. And notice that I put the, um, the string for hanging this around the tree because, like, it needs to be anchored somehow. 
Do we really need to get that picky? Probably not, but I don't want to leave any stones unturned here. Then I've got my grass, and I'm just going to stamp that around my tree. Wow, that went really good. That one's not so close. And then there's this little tiny image. That's what I've got the white ink here for. This is the um, glow or your glass for your light bulb. And I'm going to use it as the glow. So I'm going to have to stick my head in here so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Maybe I can do it without doing that. No, I think I need to do it. There we go. And I'm just putting a little glow around each one of these lights. And I would be better at this if you guys weren't over top of my head. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, next... I need some birds in the sky because it looks like a beautiful, peaceful little day. So here comes the little birds. Isn't that neat? And let's see, what else? Oh, you want me to zoom in? Thank you. Yes, I can zoom in. Hang on, people are popping up all over my screen here. You aren't seeing comments. Okay, zoom in. Thanks, Claudia. Thank you. Let me try this. Don't go any place. This is tricky to do this. Yep, see, something funny happened. Hang on, let me unplug. Yep, that didn't work. It's scary to touch this phone once I have you guys going. Because it doesn't want to zoom in. There we go. Oh, okay, is everybody good? Thank you for being persistent. You can't see. Is the set carried over? Oh, that's a great question. Let me look at the catalog. I happen to have one right here. I wish I could show it to you, but I cannot. So, um, in the trees, you should be able to find it on the retired list. It is not carried over, so it is retiring with this mini catalog. Okay, so now I have this done. I've got a tiny little piece here for a banner. And that's where my words are going to come in. And this says, we need to hang out more. So who doesn't need a card like this every once in a while? We need to hang out more. I could send this to any number of my friends. Okay, I did pretty good. <laughs> I'm always impressed when I can stamp something that precise. It's a lot of pressure being on here, you guys. Okay, I'm just going to cut this off. Notice I left a whole bunch there in case I had to stamp it lots of times. <laughs> Yeah, I know me. And I'm just going to cut my little banner end. And... Oh, you guys are very welcome for Zooming. Thank you for being persistent. And Claudia, thank you for sending me that private message because it did catch my attention. I did see, um, I think it was Julie that asked me, or I saw her request. I did see that before. I saw Claudia's message, but I did see Claudia's message because I had to shut it down on my screen. Okay, a little bit of meh, little bit of glue here and on your thumb. No, don't put glue on your thumb. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, I can do this. I should have probably waited for this until I do the next part, but I'm just going to set this up here. This is just my little banner greeting, and then I'm going to show you something really cute. We're going to take one of the little hearts from the Sweet and Sassy set of heart framelits. And we're going to run that through our big shot. Here we go with the big shot. How's my camera going now? Am I too zoomed in? <laughs> Sorry for the jiggle, everybody. It's one of the things I plan on doing when I redo my office here is... Um, I plan on having a table in the middle of the room and that will take care of all this unstableness. Like every time I do something on my table, like even inking stuff, it makes my camera and my table shake, my desk I should say. So I'm hoping that that'll be a lot more stable, but I can't ever seem to find time to redo my room because I'm so busy getting ready with what's next. All right, look at this. Okay. So, are you seeing something kind of cute here? I think I am. Let me bring this back in here. And now, I am going to take my aqua painter. 
and I am going to add some pink. And if you notice, this is smearing a little bit, and that's why we are no longer going to have archival ink pads because Stazon works, and I'm not too impressed with these, and I shouldn't even be saying that, but it's the truth, and I will always tell you the truth. So it's a product that I don't care for, and I'm glad it's going to be gone. There we go. Cute, cute, cute pink. I think I just want to make that a little bit darker. There we go. All right, you're not going to be able to tell there's any problem with that once I get this together. Okay, dimensionals. Mm, here comes my dimensionals. And I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of the gray layer. This is an adorable little stamp set. And there's a ton of ideas online with this too. I'm just going to put one right in the middle. We're going to do this and this. Oh, I thought I missed that one. Now I'm going to kind of hold these up so that I can make sure I get them perfectly even. I don't want to see that white hanging out on the front. And if you do, like I have here, that's not okay with me. I'm gonna cut it with my scissors because I'm just really anal about stuff like that. It looks like you like made a mistake and went, oh well, <laughs> this is not okay with me. Okay, you wanna see the one more really super cute thing I did with this? These are our epoxy and glitter. What are these called? Let me find one with a case on it. I know somebody's gonna tell me. Mary Lynn Weller, I was thinking the same thing. Don't lose that little die. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Watch this. This is my little magnetic dish that my friend Barb gave me, and that's for those little dies. Thank you, guys. Thanks for looking out for me. Okay, clear glitter and clear epoxy shapes. These have some, t um, like, raindrops in them and then little circles. Some of them are just clear, and some of them have glitter. And I'm going to use the glitter ones. And I'm going to find a pokey tool here. Oops, I gotta get them off the right side. How about that? And this is what I added to each one of my little, whoops, lights. The little lights that are hanging. And I keep thinking about these. I need to get some lights. Does anybody have a good place to buy these camper lights? Um, where they have really fun ones? Because I'm gonna need to have some of those for my summer home. For those of you that are just joining me and don't know, um, last fall I bought a camper. We haven't used it yet. And I'm calling it my summer home because that's fancy. <laughs> so I'm going to need some of these for my summer home. And I need just one more. Let's see, these are just clear. These aren't the... No, oh, that'll be okay. And isn't that just cute? Let me show you. Can you guys see that good? Super, super sweet, right? Little glass globes in there. I just thought that was a nifty idea to use these for. They're um, adorable. I, and I haven't even used any for the raindrops yet, but I'm looking forward to that. Oh, and you can color them with Stampin' Blends. Alcohol markers, you can color them. So that one's actually blue. Can you see that? Let's see. There we go. Blue. So that's fun, too. You can make them any color you want them. All right, here we go. Let's get this card put together. I have um, a piece of basic black here and a glue bottle that doesn't want to come out. Anytime you guys have trouble, you can like pull on the end of it. It's just got a like a, a glue booger. That's kind of a nasty word, but it's what it is in there, you can pull that out or you can stick your pokey tool in there too. I've just got a real thin black border and this just really makes my card pop, right? And then I'm gonna add this to my Flirty Flamingo card base. Just like that, ooh, I just love this. I can't wait to send this. We need to hang out more. I could send that to a number of my friends. 
I could send it to my neighbors too because I don't get to hang out with them enough. I have some really nice neighbors. And I have a neighbor that I don't really like either. <laughs> Oops, did I just say that? <gasps> I did. And you know what? The only reason I don't like her is because she... Like, if I pull in the driveway while she's standing in her driveway, we like... Her driveway's here and mine's here. So our house is and then our driveways are in between. She will purposely look away from me so she doesn't have to like say hi. I know. I don't get that. I don't understand it. She will not talk to me. She will not speak to me. She will not anything. If she is, if we happen to be on the street at the same time coming, you know, like I'm leaving, she's coming into the street to go home. She will purposely look the opposite way and I don't get it. You know what? Maybe she's just shy, but I think it's really rude. So I don't like her. <laughs> there you have it. There's not many people I don't like. Okay, I've got Flirty Flamingo Baker's Twine here, and I just wrapped it around my card three times. Baker's Twine is one of those things that you can do that with and not feel guilty about it because it's very inexpensive. It looks better when you have more than just one layer there. The only thing that I have to tell you about this is I always like to hold on to these tails when I'm shortening up my bow because if you don't it'll twist up and your bow won't look nice but if you hold on to your I shouldn't say tails if you hold on to your loops when you're doing that it won't let it twist up like that so there's your great tip for the day okay you guys what do you think isn't this adorable I love it and um, here my little glass globes I did a little better with them <laughs> yeah that one's kind of really crooked, but I thought this was a really cute card. Okay, so that's one card with the In the Trees stamp set. Let me get this out of my way. I have another card that I made. This one I think will be a little quicker. And here we go. Let's try this. I'm using Dapper Denim. This is one of the colors. I'm. There's only a couple colors that I'm really going to miss. The in colors, um, Peekaboo Peach, Flirty Flamingo, Sweet Sugar Plum, and Dapper Denim. I'm really gonna miss all of those because we don't have a blue like this and it's just a really pretty blue. Okay, I've got two pieces of Whisper White here. These are both the same size. And my black, let's see. You know what, I'm gonna grab. Hang on, I'm pulling out the big dogs. I did not have a lot of success with this archival black ink pad, so I'm bringing out the stays on. Let's see, anybody have, yeah, I know, Claudia, rude neighbor, right? Oh, Julie, you could watch me all night, that's so sweet. <laughs> well, I would stamp for you all night, except that I have stamp clubs tomorrow, maybe with this weather, who knows, but I have stamp clubs tomorrow and, um, I don't know what we're making yet, so if any of my, I know Elaine's on here. Elaine, are you shocked that I have no clue what we're going to do for our stamp club tomorrow night? Oops, that didn't work out so good. And Elaine says, um, nope, she's not surprised at all. <laughs> okay, I'm getting up from my desk, and I'm coming over here for some stays on re-inker, because I think my ink pad is a little dry. That's why it kind of peeled up from that layer of cardstock. I'm just going to ink this beast up. I haven't used it in a long time. There we go. These will, like I said, be back in the catalog June 1st, and I can't wait. You can't mess with a super good thing, that's what I think. Okay, here we go. Notice that I'm stamping this tree off to one side. There we go, that looks much better. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in that hammock. And I just got ink all over it, are you kidding me? Well, we're gonna keep going. Move forward, little soldiers. <laughs> now, when you do the hammock, you wanna do this first because then you can place your trees the right width apart, right? When you do the hammock, these ends that are on here are the ropes that wrap around the tree. So make sure you get that on your tree. And then, hang on, I'm gonna grab a wipe here. I got ink all over. 
What a mess. I'm a messy stamper. I like to get on my fingers. Hang on, I don't want that to get my cards all wrecked. Stazon is one of those products that you really do need to keep it closed when you're not using it because it will dry up right before your eyes. Okay, here comes our other tree. Please work. Yay! Okay, I'm happy about that. All right, and then I'm going to clean off my little um, birds here because we are going to come in with some dapper denim. And we need a few little birds, just like this. I wanted some blue birds up here. And then I need some old olive uh, grass. Just let me get that cleaned off for a second. All right, here we go, old olive. And I'm just gonna come in here and do this, do that, do this. And do that. They don't have to be um, at the same level. See how it looks like it's kind of a hill there? That's kind of neat, right? And, ooh, look at that's magnetic. It just stuck to my stand for my camera. <laughs> okay, aqua painter. Now, I could do the thing with the markers again, but this is kind of a bigger area. So I'm just going to pull it from the lid of my ink pad. And I'm just going to very quickly color in these trees. I love aqua painters. This is my go-to for coloring just about anything is the aqua painter because you can do a lot of artsy fartsy things with it. And while I do have a few creative bones in my body, I am not an artist. So artists are special people. I wish I was, but I'm not. And uh, I do feel like an artist when I use the aqua painter because you can do some neat things. Like I said, okay, I'm repeating myself, sorry. I'm concentrating too, so then I just babble incoherently. No. <laughs> All right, do I have any questions? What's happening? I don't really like stays on. Where did that go? Sandy, it stains my stamps too bad and doesn't clean off. Well, here's the deal. I know what you're saying, and while you are certainly welcome to not like Stazon, it is the best product for as an archival ink and waterproof ink. And um, when I see stained stamps, that is a happy thing for me because I know I have invested wisely in them. And if I, if they're stained, it means I'm using them, and that makes me happy. Now, I'm just going to come down here with a little bit of old olive so that this doesn't just look kind of goofy, right? Look at that. We have some grass on the ground. Oh, let's keep going. Why not? You could put grass all the way across if you wanted. Completely up to you. And then, let's see, what did I use? Soft suede. I don't have my soft suede ink pad out here, but this is the cool thing about coloring, you guys. Think of the possibilities. If you have a bunch of markers in different colors, you have everything you need to color whatever you want using them this way, right? And I'm being really sloppy right now because I just, I hate the fact that you guys are waiting for me to color stuff. Okay, I'll show you the finished card that isn't sloppy. <laughs> Took my time. Oh, this isn't too bad. And then we're going to do a little bit of blue on our hammock. My stomach tells me it's hungry again. God darn it. I ate a small bowl of chili before I went live. My husband, um, he didn't make chili this weekend, but he had made some previously. And he froze some. So what a perfect thing to get out during a blizzard, right? And I'll tell you what, that man's chili is phenomenal. I would put him up against any um, chili cook-off. Like, I would enter him in a chili cook-off. Okay, now, I want to tone this down a little bit. It's just stark white where there's no stamping. So that's where I'm going to pull out my black marker, and I'm going to leave the tip in the lid and flick. Just like that. Now, you got to kind of let this dry a little bit, okay? You don't want to touch it right away, so we're going to kind of set that aside. 
Um, let's see. I've got teeny tiny wishes. I decided that this card was going to be a great retirement card. Right? That's just screams retirement to me. So I pulled out my teeny tiny wishes. And remember these cases that I put my stamps in? This is where they're coming from. This is an old wood case. And um, I just cut the lid off of it, and that's what I use. And look at, Sandy, look at my dirty stamps. They are horrendous. But you know what? This makes me happy because I know that I have used these. And that was money well spent for me. So, and I completely get that you want your stamps to stay pristine, maybe. But for me, it's all about, no, they need to be a mess because that means that I've used them. And Sandy does know about the cleaner. Yeah, the cleaner is not good for photopolymer stamps, so you are correct. And we don't really recommend using um, Stays On with Photopolymer Red Rubber. Here we go. And this is a man card, so I'm not dolling it up a lot. I don't have a lot of layers on here. And I've already stamped the Happy Retirement. I guess I didn't really even show you that. From Teeny Tiny Wishes. And I put it on a um, Dapper Denim banner. You guys know how to make that, right? I'm just going to put that right up here on the edge. Isn't that cute? That is a cute retirement card. And last but not least, let's see. Where's my stamp set? Because I kind of forgot that I want to use the clouds. Here's a cloud. And let me grab a block. Here we go. Is Denise drinking? <laughs> oh, yeah, Denise, you are correct. If you um, stamp them first with yellow or pink, they tend to not stain as much, and I don't understand that. I don't know why. It's, it's very baffling to me, but yes, you are correct. That is true. And I guess I've never really done it much because I don't care. But if that, it's worth a try. But Sandy can continue to not use stays on. That is okay. We each have our things that we like, right? Okay, we got that. And then I want the congratulations. Because when you retire, maybe I could give this to my husband. It's a little late. I think he'd, he'd probably like it. Okay. And I'm using black ink for that. I use the dapper denim for the clouds and black ink for my congratulations. And now I have a wonderful card. I just went to a retirement party Friday night and I had a retirement card all made up. So here's the next one that I will need in the future. I don't know for who, but I'll be ready when it's time. There we go. And let me show you the one that isn't quite as, that one's kind of really um, a little messy. But yeah, there we go. Cute, cute, right? I really do like this stamp set. I think it's fun for a lot of different things. And this tree. Um, I really wanted to do a lot of things with the tree. I think the tree is cool. And I think this has a lot of possibilities. And there's a little squirrel in there. And then you've got these banners and this banner. One of the cool things in here that I think is fun is these two um, lines right here. Those are to go on the end of this banner. So you can put this banner between the trees and those two lines are the strings holding the banner. Does that make sense? Super cute, really like that. All right, you guys, let's keep moving along. I've got, um, what time is it? Oh, 7.18, oh, the time does go so fast. Okay. Let me think. Do you guys want to see a fun fold that I did? Who wants to watch? You missed what paper you said you were using. You have been... No, I have not been using um, watercolor paper. I have just been using regular Whisper White cardstock. That's it. No watercolor paper. All right. And like I said, I will put the measurements for these cards on... Oh, let me get these all cleaned up. On my blog, on Tuesday, I usually post the projects from my Facebook Live. Okay, so hang on. You guys want to see a fun fold? 
Yeah, Mickey, I know. Another set that you didn't like before, but now you do. It, it's all about seeing what you can do with these sets, right? I can see this little squirrel climbing across this banner and this colored in different little colors in between the trees and announcing a baby. I can just see so many things with this. I think it's adorable. All right, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to show you my fun fold. Where is it? Um, let's see. Uh, hang on, you guys. Here it comes. I've got a whole bin, bin full of stuff, and I've got markers falling. Let me push all this stuff out of my way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guess what I'm playing with here? Ah, Stamparatus, baby. Pretty excited about that. Um, Stamparatus comes out June 1st. It is the most amazing tool ever. Not kidding. And then I'm also, does that glare when I set it at, yeah, it does. Let's see, I don't want this glaring at you. That's so annoying. I guess I can't really see it up there. Okay. I'm using markers again. And I've got this cutie patootie little stamp set, the Charming Cafe. And this one has Cafe Builder framelits that are, this is just, there's so many possibilities with this. So let me show you what we're gonna do here. All right, here are my cardstock layers. Lots and lots and lots of wipes here. That. This. Here we go. <laughs> All right. For this card, this is a diorama card. And do you remember this one that I showed you? This was a swap that I showed you last week made by Linda Z Zaleski. And it's just a very cool card. Well, I've got this with a little twist to it. So I will show you what I did with my diorama card. I've got a piece of our Petal Passion Designer Series paper. This is our black and white in the Occasions mini catalog. This is retiring, you guys. So if you want to get some of this, I've used every single pattern in that pack. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White. These are both the same size. They are our card front four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I've got a piece of pool party. This is three and a quarter by four. All right, what am I gonna do? I am going to stamp, nope, I'm going to die cut first. Now all these dies, see this cute little stamp set? All these dies cut out this stuff, which is really, really neat. I'm going to just bring these out here. I am going to use this one and this one. And I don't need those two, and we're good. This cuts out so many different options. You can cut out this little, these two little chairs and the table. Um, let's see. This square that's right here cuts that out so it has a peekaboo window going through and leaves the chairs there. You can cut out the chairs and the table and the little bricks all by themselves right here. You can individually cut out both sides of these flowers with these framelits. And then you have this topiary and you've got three different framelits so you can stamp that three times and cut them out all at the same time. I love that Stampin' Up! is doing that, right? Okay, what's happening? Memento, yeah, that's why we can't use Memento because it is not waterproof, Tammy, at all. Like, it will really smear. Now, you can actually kind of stamp with it and let it dry and stay away from the edges. If you have the ability to do that when you're coloring with water, you can. But Memento is, is, is a great black ink pad, but it's not meant for water. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this big framelit, and we're going to run that through the big shot. We meaning me. 
Oh, that was heavy. Let me get this position in here for you guys. So you can see what I'm doing. Am I in the camera? Yep, I'm in here. Okay. Um, here we go. I'm going to take this. Oops, where'd that big die go? Should I see what I did with it? This is it. Yes. Is this what I want? Yes. Okay. I am going to run this through just like this. And I'm just kind of centering it in the middle. And we're going to cut out the middle of this black and white designer series paper. There we go. We have a peekaboo window. Okay. Now, I'm going to just set my big shot aside here. Where did that big die go? Did you guys? Oh, here it is. All right. Now we're going to take a scrap of Whisper White, which I do have here someplace. There it is. Scrap. This is just a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to stamp this big floral image. I did with that stays on ink pad. That's memento. That's not stays in. Oh, here it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna ink this up. We're gonna stamp this. Yay! We're going to color that in with markers. And I really did just bring my markers in and color these little flowers. It doesn't take that long. It's Pretty darn simple. I use Rich Razzleberry, Pear Pizzazz, Pool Party on these little funny little knobby things and these little berry bushel, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I know, do you love all my funny little sayings? And through the magic of TV, I already have that done. Isn't that pretty? It's just cute. Yes, Rhonda, you are correct. You use memento ink pads with al alcohol markers. Stays on with water. That is correct. All right, so now we're going to die cut this. And I like that there's dies for all of these because they're really quick and simple. Whoops. Ooh, got a little carried away there. Okay, and another really helpful thing is this magnetic platform under my Big Shot. I absolutely love my magnetic platform because I can do this. I can get it all situated and ready to rock. Life is grand. And now let's see if I can put this in here at the same time. I can. I did this individually before, but I can do this at the same time. So this is going to cut out the middle and this is going to cut out the outside. Are you guys in love yet? Um, yeah. Oh, this looks a little crooked here. Hang on. There we go. I think we're good. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Move that out of the way. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. <gasps> Isn't that cool? It is cool. Okay. out of the way. Now we're going to do the inside. This is a scrap. This is a scrap. I'll get rid of this here. And I was just looking to see if I had any more questions there and I didn't see anything. Get rid of this. Here comes this. Look at how pretty this is going to be. This goes right over. It like fits right over the die cut hole that we put in there. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. We are going to stamp on this. And that's where I brought in the Stamparatus. This worked out really good for me earlier today. So let's see. How did I do this? Yep. Here we go. And I've got just a few things that I want to show you with this. 
I put my cardstock right up here. Oops, I've got some ink on that piece. Right up here in the top right corner. I took my magnet and I wrapped it in washi tape. I'm sure you guys have seen lots of demonstrators doing this, but it I put a little tab on there so it's easy for me to grab and pick up and move around. Also, the washi tape on here, if you use both of your magnets, there's two magnets with the Stamparatus. Okay, here's one and here's one. If you use two magnets, it helps keeping them, it helps to keep them from breaking when they snap together if you get them too close. Do not let your magnets snap together because if they break, you're out of luck. You just have to use your own magnets. Stampin' Up's not going to replace them. They've already pretty much said that. Okay, so here is, I've got the little um, table and chairs. And what I want to do is I want to bring this piece in. And I'm going to use a pencil and just make a little very light mark right here and right here. And then I'm going to close this up and that looks like it's going to be right in the right place. So I already have my chairs lined up and ready to go. I'm going to ink that up and close the lid. And now if I want to, I can make a whole bunch of these. Just slide this piece in there, close the lid. Then I have this other piece right over here. And yep, that's going to go right in here also. Ink this up. Boom, just like that. Isn't that cool? I could make a whole bunch of these, you guys. All right, let me close this. And get this out. There we go. Um, then the other thing I have is this piece. This I'm going to put on the back of my card and I've already got this set up right on the other side to stamp exactly where I need it to be. And this one I'm using Memento. I don't need a permanent ink. Well, I guess I probably did for that topiary, but it'll be okay. Look at that. Perfect every time. And the reason why I brought out my Stamparatus because I needed this to be in a specific spot, right? And I needed the words low enough and the image high enough. And then this little one was kind of a stinker, stamping it straight because it's that thin little words. And with this, you can do a gazillion of these perfect every time. All right, let me move this aside. Stamparatus coming out June 1st. I know some of you pre-ordered with the reservation and um, you're already using your Stamparatuses, but if you did not, you will be able to get one, so don't worry. I am using the Pear Pizzazz and I just colored in the topiaries on here and I thought, oh, can I color green on Pool Party? Um, yes, I can. Thank you, Rhonda. It is a good idea to use the washi tape with those magnets because you do not want to allow those to, you know, snap together. Um, and if they do, they may not break with that tape on. It might be enough padding to keep that from happening. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my trimmer. And I'm going to erase these. There's only a couple little things that you need to do here. And... Um, Let's see. Hang on. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to show you how I colored this first before I go there. Where did my... Here's just another piece of tile. I have a couple of these. And it's nice that I could keep one with this project and one with the other. I use Pull Party Marker. I'm just getting a little... Pushing on this a little bit. There we go. Pool Party Marker, and I want a little bit more water for this because I want this to kind of be a wash. And a wash meaning a wash, like a, a very pale sky background. Now, notice that I'm coloring right over the chair legs and the chair back. And you're like, oh, Kelly. Yeah, guess what? We're going to color those gray with the marker. And that will cover this pool party color so we don't need to worry about being too picky with that. The legs and the chair back just color right over top of them. And this really does make our um, image pop once we do that. Where's my markers? Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Does anybody see a gray marker? I know I have it. I must put it in the wrong bin. 
Okay, you guys, what, it, oh, here it is. Jeez Louise. Okay, and then I just came in and colored this. Colored these little, oh, and this is black, you guys. That's not gray. Here's the gray. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so you're gonna go around and you're gonna just color this little chair, color the table. Of course, it doesn't hurt that you aqua painted over it with pool parties, so don't worry about that. I kind of did the same thing with the soft suede and the ground, or the bricks, too. Um, I'm going to kind of mellow this out. I don't want it to be too dark. You can go right over the legs of the chair and the table because the gray is darker than the brown that you're using. Through the magic of TV, voila, we have this one done. Now we're going to do a little scoring. These cards are super easy to make. You are going to put this in and score each side at a half an inch. And I have to give a shout out. Oh, nope. I was going to say I have to give a shout out to Cindy. Um, but Cindy is the other card that I made for tonight. She actually sent me a card and I, I used that fun fold to make something else tonight. And we're not going to have time to see that one. So I will save it for next week. And that'll give me a little jump start on that, too, because I think I have held you guys hostage long enough. <laughs> okay, half inch and one inch on each end. How much easier does that get, right? Half inch and one inch. Here we go. Let's put our card together. We are ready. So, you're going to fold and fold just like that. Fold and fold. So it looks just like this. We're going to do the same thing here, just like that, just like that, and then you glue both of these together. Now before I do this, I am going to put these beautiful little flowers on that was so simple to do. Aren't framelits wonderful? <gasps> I love them. And this fits right onto the edge of that die that cut out the middle. So it's like so easy. Okay. And then on the back of this piece, that's where this little pool party layer is going to come in. The sample that I have didn't have anything on the back. It had the ladies um, uh, made by me stamp. It's like, but where am I going to write? Because I like to write messages. Well, sometimes when you send cards to people, you maybe don't want to write messages. <laughs> like my neighbor lady, if I ever gave her a card, I wouldn't even write her a message. No, I would never give her a card. Um, yeah. Because she's rude. She's really weird. She made me really angry one time because I used to have a minivan. I did daycare for like 15 years. And... Um, I had a minivan, and one of the kids left the side door open, and of course it's on the other side from where I could see it through the kitchen window, so I didn't realize it. You just want to put glue on that one little tab here. And um, that lady drove in and out of her driveway three times that afternoon and never once could say to me, hey, your door's open. Yeah, she just, and so then my battery was dead, and then that really made me angry. Yeah. Look at you guys. One more thing. These are the Brights enamel shapes, and I love these because they coordinate with our cardstock. I'm going to take one of the Rich Razzleberry Hearts, these are super cute, and add that right there. Isn't that sweet? And then I have a piece of ribbon, and I'm just going to tie a bow. Let's see how good I can do this freehand. You, you certainly could use the bow jig to do this, but I'm going to give it a whirl here. Oh, not too bad, right? Ooh, my stomach is starting to growl. Apparently I didn't eat enough of that chili. Okay, there we go. Cute little bow. And I just felt like my card needed just a little, some type of a little embellishment. Who sees my, oh, here they are. <laughs> Glue dots, glad they weren't a snake and bit me, right? I'm just going to put this right here. 
cute, cute, cute diorama card. Any number of things you could make with this. Here's the card that I got in the swap. This is really cute, using that floral set out of the Occasions Mini Catalog. And here's what I came up with, using some designer series paper and the Charming Cafe stamp set. And this is where I'm gonna write my message. And this folds down and it fits right in an envelope, you guys, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, what do you think? Let's, let's bring them back in. Let's parade these cards like the treasures that they are. <laughs> okay, hang on. We had a lot, we spent a lot of time on my pre-order, right? So we didn't make as many cards as we usually do here. Here comes another one in the trees. That was super cute. Where'd that swap go? Oh, here it is. I'll bring that back in here too. This looks more substantial. <laughs> there you guys go. So I'm sorry, I really wasn't able to pay much attention to my um my um comments tonight because I set my computer over on another thing and ugh. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. I will I do go back through and look at all my comments. If you asked a question and I didn't answer it, um yeah, I'll be able to answer you. Kill her with card kindness. <laughs> Renee, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. I like that. Sounds really good. I should do that. What else do I have to tell you? Um, do you guys have any suggestions? Have you seen something new that you'd like to see me demonstrate? I will be here again on April 27th. I'm sorry, April 22nd is the next Sunday. So next Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time. But I have to tell you, the following Sunday, I will not be live. And it's because... Drum roll, please. I'm going to Mexico. Woohoo! So, <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited about that. We have a family wedding that we're going to. And uh, I will not be live on that date. But I'll be back to you the next Sunday, I'm sure. If I can get my life caught back up. You know how hard it is to go on vacation and then try to catch up. Vellum. Lorraine wants vellum. Where's my little notebook? Lorraine? Bless your heart, Lorraine, from the UK... I'm happy to see you here tonight. Thank you, Tina. All the cards are beautiful. You want more with brusho. You know what? I just found a new technique with brusho. So we've got um, vellum. Vellum. And um, brusho. Okay. I know. Lucky girl. Right, Marianne? I'm excited. I love, love, love the hot heat. I could live down there. <laughs> um... Chris Tomlin in concert. Well, that sounds like fun. Somebody else voted for Vellum, too. Yeah, I know. They don't have any snow in Mexico where I'm going, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Have a great trip. Get your toes done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get my toes done um, next week. We leave. Well, I really probably shouldn't be broadcasting this on Facebook Live. My husband's probably going to be mad, but somebody will be staying at our house. So don't come here and try to rob us. We don't have much. Um, <laughs> Um, I will be going early next week to get my nails and my toes done because my nails are getting pretty grown out here. And Haley said she needs to get her nails done. So ghosting technique. I have heard of that. That's interesting. I will see what I can find. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I think I do remember what it is. Shakers. Shakers are fun, aren't they, Rhonda? Shakers. Let's see. Can I spell? How do you spell shakers without an R? <laughs> You know what's really funny? I used to be a really good speller, and, and I'm still fairly decent at it, but I find that I'm really having like these moments that stop me, and I can't remember how to spell some of the words that you shouldn't have any trouble spelling. So I blame it on the drugs. No, not drugs I did as a, chi as a teenager or young adult. No, not those drugs. I blame it on the drugs that I'm taking now to keep my cancer at bay, I guess, is a good way to say it. Mary Olson, I hope you are doing well. I am happy to see you on here. Um, are you kidding? You have a household of beautiful Stampin' Ups. I do. I do. But here's the deal, Marianne. I don't think anybody's going to come into my house and steal my stamping stuff. So let's, you know, 
let's just be real about that. <laughs> Nobody's going to come in and do that. Graduation. You know what? I just made a graduation card, um, Marsha, and that's a good idea because we do need those, right? Wedding and graduation cards. Eclipse card. Hmm. E satellite PSD. I have made those before. I'm very good at them. So, Suzette, that might be good. Um, Lorraine's got chemo on Friday, so whoopee. I wish you luck with that, my friend. Yeah. Okay, don't forget, share my video. Share, share, share the video. Um, what else? Don't forget to use the hostess code if you're placing an order. Uh, we have that big retirement list. I posted that on my Facebook page. So once you're done watching my video, click on the name of my page, a stamp above your creative coach, and you should be able to um, scroll down and see the retirement list. So you can click on those. Um, stamp sets are available until sometime in later May. After that point, they won't make any new ones if they run out. All else, paper, embellishments, ribbon, ink pads, reinkers, everything else is only available while supplies last. Exploding box card. Those are fun. All right, that's that's a good idea, Kathy. Box card, a christening card. Well, I have to get my cross stamp set back. <laughs> Kathy Miller. Oh, that's funny. It's okay, Kathy. Don't worry about it. Christening card, encouragement cards. Yep, yep, those are good. Thank you, Kathy Sanford. You are very welcome. You're welcome, Heather. You're welcome, everybody. I think I'm going to sign off now. I have kept you hostage long enough. Um, don't forget if you have any questions. Hi, Colette. I haven't seen you in forever, and I miss you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. You can always leave a comment on my Facebook page. I'm happy to get back to you there. You can private message me. You can email me. My email address is kelly at a stamp above.com. Always happy to uh, get back to everybody. Don't forget, head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to that if you haven't done that already because I do publish two videos besides this one every week on YouTube. So. I've got so many things going on. You guys want to see what I made during the week? How about that? I'll show you just in case you missed it. Um, I was just part of a blog hop on Saturday, yesterday, and I made, I used some more embossing paste and I added lemon lime reinker to it. And this one is pumpkin pie reinker. So I made these two cards. Like I said, I've been kind of going crazy with the daisy punch lately. And then here's some more. I wanted to, this is how it started. I wanted to see what the colored um, embossing paste would look like on white and black. And I think these are really pretty. What do you guys think? And then of course you guys saw the cards that we made with the embossing paste last time I was live. And then also on my blog, I have these beauties using the Daisy Punch. Like I said, I kind of Daisy Punch f threw up all over the place. I just couldn't stop myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. So lots of cards on my blog with all the dimensions, directions. Most of them have videos. Um, I know people love video tutorials. I'm not going to show you the cards for my blog hop tomorrow, but I will give you a little hint. I used the Daisy Punch with those too, so I think you're going to like them. Thank you, Katie. Your daughter and you love watching my videos on Sundays. I'm so happy you guys can both tune in. And thanks, Leanne, about the weather. I hope the weather gets better too. Let me see if I can tell you what's going on out there right now. Hang tight. It's kind of hard to see now. And my windows are a little foggy because, you know, I've been blabbering all night. I don't know, it might have stopped snowing. It doesn't look like it's snowing too much anymore. So maybe, maybe it's over. We'll see. Anyways, it's just snow. And as long as you stay home, it will not hurt anybody, right? Stay home, people. Stay home and you won't put yourself in jeopardy. That's what you do when we have a snowstorm. So there you go. All right. Good night, you guys. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.